All right, here we go again. Um, dumb money is, is uh, about to make the same mistake uh, that they make over and over and over. Um, if you look at this long-term chart, you can see that we're getting stretched just you know obscenely far above this 200-day moving average. But this is the this is the point where uh, emotional traders um, are worried about missing the move. So they're they're, they're going to buy up here, and then they're going to get caught when the when the daily cycle rolls over and corrects. So let me move over to the uh, NASDAQ and I'll show you um, what we did here. So th this was our buy signal right here. Um, we we got um, briefly whipsawed out right here when, when the NASDAQ made another lower low. Uh, that was a warning sign that, that potentially we could be coming back down to uh, maybe make a double bottom or make a lower low. So we were protecting against that possibility. And, and as, as it turns out, it was a, um, a bear trap. Uh, it was a whipsaw. But the, I mean, the, there was no serious damage done here. And, and our buy signal was, was right here on this trend line break. So the, the problem, of course, is that um, emotional traders uh, when they got whipsawed out here, were then unable to pull the trigger here. And so then what's happened is that they've missed this move. And so now I'm seeing um, people panicked that um, the, that they need to get back in um, because they're, they're going to miss the move. But here's the problem. Uh, this daily cycle is... Uh, going to be on day 25 today, it, it's too late to panic in at this point. You know, the, the proper buy point was right here when this trend line broke. So panicking in now after you've missed this move because you, you, you wouldn't pull the trigger here, uh, it, it's too late. Um, we're going to, you know, we're, you know, we're at risk of, um, running out of buyers here. Uh, the, the last few people are going to panic in right at the top, just like they all do at, at the top of every one of these daily cycles. And then what happens is they, um, the, the market corrects. We move down into a daily cycle low. And then, uh, you know, they, they bought up here and then they panic and they sell down here. And, th and this is how people uh, consistently lose money during uh, a bull market and during the advancing phase of an intermediate cycle. So going back to the S&P, um, again, uh, you know, I've noted this before that breakouts that occur late in a cycle typically don't produce sustained moves. So um, er everybody is bullish now that the S&P has broken out above 4,000. The problem is, is that it's coming really late in this daily cycle. So the odds are not great that this is going to be a sustained move above 4,000. Uh, the daily cycles is uh, probably going to top, I would guess sometime next week once earnings season starts. And then we're going to have a scary correction. Um, almost all... Um, daily cycle lows will break the daily cycle trend line. Uh, here is the uptrend line. So you know, right now people are, are panicked that they're missing the move. You know, they, they wouldn't, they wouldn't uh, buy on that trend line break that I showed you back on the, on the queues. Now they're panicked that they're, you know, they missed the move and, and now they want to get in because they can't, you know, they, they can't, anticipate a corrective move here. The market is rallying strongly and they just assume that it's going to continue rally strongly and they're going to, if they don't get in, they're going to miss the move. So we're, we're reaching that point where the pain of missing the move is becoming too great and it's going to draw in the, the last few buyers. 
and then the market will have to have a correction. And so, and as I said, most almost all of these corrections will uh, drop far enough to uh, break the cycle trend line. So, you know, we're like it. Like I said, the odds are not good that this move above 4,000 is going to be a sustained move that that just keeps going and going. Um, I do believe we're in a bubble. I'm not completely convinced that we're we're in the final melt up stage just yet. Uh, I I do think we're going to have um, a, a scary move down into a daily cycle low probably pretty soon. Uh, we've got the FOMC meeting out here on the 28th. The, the Fed always rescues the market ahead of these uh, FOMC meetings, just like I predicted they were going to do here. Uh, so one of two things are going to happen. They're either going to keep this market propped up all the way into the FOMC meeting on the 28th, and then the market will correct uh, really viciously after that, or more likely, in my opinion, we're probably going to get uh, – a nasty little correction here, maybe starting next week. That'll come back down, break this trend line, drop back below 4,000. Uh, all of the people that, that panicked into the market uh, up here will then panic out of the market and sell for a loss. And they'll lose money, in, you know, on the long side in a bull market. Um, you know, if, if you're going to buy up here, if you're going to give in to emotions and buy up here, then for God's sakes, hold through the correction. When this when this does correct and you start to take a drawdown, um, think logically, not emotionally. This is a bull market. This is not the top of the bull market. And once this correction has run its course, and, and especially, like I said, with the FOMC meeting out here at the 28th, then the, the market's going to turn around and go back up and make higher highs. So. Um, just because you get your emotions um, cause you to buy at the wrong time doesn't mean that it has to be a losing trade. Um, the, you know, we're just going to have a normal daily cycle correction. And then once that's over, the market's going to go back up naturally anyway, but it's going to be helped by the, the Fed's going to dump a bunch of money in the market to make sure it's back at, at those all time highs in time for that FOMC meeting anyway. So, uh, you know, if you can't control your emotions and you, uh, like the, the many people that didn't take the buy signal uh, in uh, in the queues here when we when we broke this trend line and are now panicked because um, they're watching the market run away from them, uh, they, you, know, you, you don't have to panic. You're going to get uh, a good buying opportunity here soon. Uh, most people, again, probably won't be able to take that buy signal because it's uh, the market will be moving down and they won't at that point. Their emotions will have flipped and they will think that we're starting a bear market or whatever. The bubble has topped and that will not be the case. It will just be a quick move into a daily cycle correction. And it, and it may be more extreme uh, on the NASDAQ because, as you can see, the trend line here is a bit shallower, so we could have um, we could have a, a more extreme move down in the Nasdaq, and it's uh, one of the possibilities I'm looking at is we might be preparing to form a, a triangle consolidation on the Nasdaq here. So, um, assuming we get you know a little bit more upside here to maybe um, complete this uh, double top. Uh, then the, the uh, correction of the daily cycle low, and instead of breaking this trend line, it comes down to tag it. And then uh, at that point, there would be a, a pretty good bet that that we're uh, in a triangle con continuation pattern. And, uh, you know, we go back up and presumably, you know, we may tag this again in one more small correction, but then take off. But presumably, well, most of the time, these triangles break on the flat side. So uh, I'm watching that as a possibility that we we may uh, come up and uh, tag this as a, a double top, come back down, tag this lower trend line, and form a, a, a triangle consolidation that uh, would then uh, break out um, maybe in May, 
and uh, and then we get the uh, continuation of the bubble in earnest. Uh, but um, you know, traders, you, you don't need to keep making the same mistakes over and over and over. Um, as, as I said, we're we're going to be 25 days into this daily cycle. Uh, we're we're getting too mature uh, to be chasing this move. You want to you want to buy during the next move down into the, the next daily cycle low, and uh, and especially if if it comes pretty quickly here, then you've got the added protection that uh, that the Fed is going to dump a bunch of money in the market and make sure that the uh, daily cycle low uh, correction is done quickly and that the market is, is back near those all-time highs in time for that Fed meeting on the 28th.